It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and this is a traditional alarm clock during Ramadan. Children going around neighborhoods waking up people for the morning meal that has to be eaten before sunrise. Nobody is spared. Some residents say the noise bothers them, but others who don't have an alarm clock love the old tradition. Yeah, senang. Jadi... I am glad they are waking me up, otherwise I will oversleep since this is already the second week of the fasting month. This is a very effective way to wake up people. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and everyone in this neighborhood is already awake. Also the ones who are not fasting. Mosques tend to turn up the volume during Ramadan as well. In Kota-Kota Indonesia, in cities in Indonesia, like Jakarta, there are many mosques these days and they wake up people for the morning meal. They do this with a lot of noise and it's very long. This disturbs people in their sleep. So I have asked the Muslim Council and the Minister of Religion to make a regulation to limit the noise. Many people welcome this. As a country with the world's largest Muslim population, most Indonesians are celebrating the fasting month. But Indonesia is also a country that wants to promote diversity. In our country we have regulations for tolerance amongst different religions, so it's good for mosques to lower the volume. I agree because the fasting month should be comfortable for all people, not only Muslims, so I think children should be forbidden to wake up people in the middle of the night. Indonesia's highest Muslim council agrees that the noise during Ramadan can be disturbing, but the country's most important Muslim scholars also feel that a long-held tradition like the early wake-up call by these children should still be maintained. Their suggestion? Just start the call a little later to give people one extra hour of sleep. Step fasten, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.